Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Mr. El Guapo, man. Street certified news. And we back with another one. Like everybody know, man, this week, the boy FBG Butter, man, he took the stand. I saw some bloggers like saying that, you know what I mean? He, he refused to take the stand. Like, nah, he took the stand and he did cooperate some evidence that the feds wanted him to cooperate. But at the same time, uh, the dude Butter did refuse to, you know, point out certain people in court. Uh, in terms of them being killers Like he, he refused to point people out But uh, the boy did take the stand man And you know he did testify On behalf of the prosecution man You know what I'm saying The dude trenches news uh, He keep making news man I guess this week he's blaming uh, Like a corrupt cop or something like that He blaming some dude for recruiting him And turning him into a rat And all this type of But you know it's all funny to me man Maybe that's something we're looking to Maybe we're looking to do man um, but yeah, we didn't really think those updates was like really that big in terms of making a whole video on it, man. So this week, we talk about the boy Pravion Mitchell, man, Big P. And we really gonna break down, man. You know why this dude Big P, you know why he hate O Block so much, man. Hey, it's your boy Michelle Gobble, man. Street Certified News, man. Again, man, smack that like button for your boy, man. For some reason, like the more likes, the more views, man. And, and, and y'all be showing us hella love on the videos. But when I don't say smack that like button, you know, it, 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 the videos don't go as up, man. So we definitely want y'all to smack the like button on this video, man. Uh, this week's story, man. Uh, the dude, Pravion Mitchell, man. Why Big P hate O Block, man? Let's get right into it. Pravion Mitchell, aka Big P, was born August 26, 1993, in Chicago, Illinois. A lifelong O Block member, Pravion would grow up as a youngin' during the Wick City era. And it is during this time that Pravion gained the name Big P, due to him being almost a grown man size even as a kid. Growing up with the first generation of Parkway that referred to themselves as O-Block, Big P would find himself at the forefront of the drill culture from a street side. Although he did not rap, Big P would be seen and known around the streets as one of O-Block's strongest members. Uh, the dude Previon Mitchell, man, just, you know what I'm saying, to be transparent, um, he originally had jumped on my radar uh, due to us looking into cooperators and, and, and you know former O Block members reading the paperwork you know that the feds had put out, we knew it was a former O Block member, and there was some inkling that dude had caught a gun case. And right around that time, the dude Previon Mitchell, you know what I'm saying, Big P caught a gun case. So although you know what I'm saying, we we not saying nothing like that. And, and, and some of the other you know allegations about Big P, maybe talking to the police, we gonna get into later. But we originally was looking at Big P as potentially one of the cooperators. Um, uh, we never you know were able to completely rule him in. So that's why I know you never heard me talking about bro, because unless unless a dude name really pop up on some shit. I ain't never gonna put his name, you know what I'm saying, in the video if if it ain't in the vid supposed to be in the video, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah, so the dude Previon Mitchell, man, he had caught the gun case. You know, he hated O Block at the time. And there was a lot of people, you know, especially from O Block saying, Man, that dude Big P a rat, Big P telling. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely looked into him. And as you can see, you know, he really have nothing to do with this uh, with the O Block Rico situation. You know, he really had a reason to hate O Block, you know what I'm saying? And, and it wasn't like no petty shit. You know, I know Hoods fight from time to time. This was some real shit, man. And, and, and the dude, Big P, man, he stood on business and he stood on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the situation that he felt, you know, because he felt like the situation ain't go his way. You know what I mean? It ain't go the right way. So, you know, we going to get into it, man. But yeah, that's originally how we, how we, uh, you know, how Big P got on our radar. On Monday, December 13th, 2021. Avion D. Givens, aka Alo, aka Aroy, the younger brother of Big P, was shot and killed during a fight in Oblock. Aroy, P's younger brother, was also a lifelong Oblock member and a friend of late rapper King Von, as well as being a part of Lil Durk's early OTF music label. To make matters worse, the murder of Aroy will also be recorded on security cameras in Parkway Gardens and subsequently went viral. Sadly, the video showed P's little brother Alo engaged in a fist fight with another man. After seemingly winning the fight, Alo gets up and walks away, 
The man then gets up and shoots Alo multiple times, and everyone runs. Although the shooting happened in front of a number of witnesses and was recorded on security cameras, the shooter would never be arrested. Problems with Big P would start when he felt that justice was not done after the death of his brother. Allegedly, Previon believed the hood chose the side of the shooter over his deceased brother. And he also called out other O Block members because Alo originally evolved himself in a dispute between two other members, over $15,000 that was reportedly stolen. Allegedly, Aroy would be handing out this gang discipline when he was fatally shot in his back. Due to conflicting reports, it is believed at the time Big P did speak with CPD about the crime and wanted the shooter arrested, but as of today, no murder charges were ever filed. The shooter, who we decided not to name, would go on to build a buzz from the shooting and now regularly release his music to a growing group of fans. From that point, however, there was a clear split in O Block. One group consisted of the older members that once controlled Parkway and the new younger group who backed the shooter and now seemed to be calling the shots. For anybody who, you know, know the history of Street Certified, man, um, you know, we've had for a number of years really big Instagram pages, really big Facebook pages, you know what I'm saying? All the street news, all the viral videos, hood shit. You know what I'm saying? We was been doing that for years. And I remember when this video came out, man. Um it, it and, and to be honest, it looked pretty clear. You know what I'm saying? It was a fight. You seen the dude on top of the dude. You seen some people trying to get him off. Then you see the dude kind of get up and walk away. You know what I'm saying? He probably feeling himself. You know what I mean? He just whipped on Buddy ass. And then you just see Buddy hop up and just start shooting and everybody run. And I remember seeing the video and hearing like, damn, that was, you know, one of the little dirt artists that got killed. And I, to be honest, I never even thought it was like a mystery or I never really looked back into it because I figured like, hey, whoever that nigga was that shot, like shit, he out of here. Like it's, it's plain as day, you know what I'm saying? Come to find out, you know, I, I guess, you know, even though there were witnesses that seen what happened, most people seem to back the shooter. And I believe, you know, although we're not going to name his name, I believe the shooter, you know, he originally said, you know, he feared for his life. The dude kind of got up and was like, I'm finna go get a gun or something like that. And he felt the need to kind of put him down right there so that he would not have to fear him later. Um, which, to be honest, you know, in Chicago, you could do that. You know, if somebody is on your ass, you could just, you know what I mean? Like, you could do that. So I didn't see that in the video, but I believe that's what was his story. And eventually, you know what I'm saying? He was free, no charges. And this really angered Big P, man. Of course, man, that's his little brother. You know what I'm saying? I guess it was some gang business that was going on anyway. So it wasn't like some random nigga getting whooped. It was like the nigga would kind of get whooped for a reason and other people around knew why. Buddy ass just couldn't take that L, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, man, Big P did not like that. You know what I'm saying? RP Alo, man. We definitely want to say that RP Aroy. Um, and this would go on to start, you know what I'm saying? The war with Big P and O Block, man. He would not let that shit go. Man, you goofies do not protect this block. Y'all do not protect this block like y'all opposed to, man. I'm on a fucking bike. And look where I'm at. On the guys, I'm a gangster. Now I'm pulling in the third park through the gate. Who gonna do something down there? Hey, G Dub man, on my way to kill these niggas. They don't even know it. I'm here again. Dumbass people. I'm in O Block. Yes, sir. On my JoJo. Come outside, guys. In the following years, social media back and forth would go on. And Big P, a number of times on his IG Live, would speak on the animosity he had for the younger generation of O Block. In late 2022, Big P had the home he was living in raided by Chicago police after an anonymous caller said that there was a man inside threatening people with a gun, prompting Big P to call out the younger O Block members for snitching on him, most notably O Block Ty Munna. In January 2023, after months of tormenting O Block members pulling up in his now trademark city bike, Big P was reportedly shot while near Parkway. Although the shooter was never arrested, it is alleged that Big P knew who shot him, but when the police inquired, he refused to speak. 
Instead, his years of taunting the gang after the death of his brother would come to a head when Pravion himself, in March of 2023, would be found guilty of possession of a firearm by a habitual criminal and eventually sentenced to eight years of prison. Previon Mitchell, aka Big P, is not scheduled to be released until June 20th, 2027. Hey man, we appreciate y'all rocking with the doc, man. The boy Big P, you know what I'm saying? He's scheduled to to get out of 2027. And you know, I'm, I'm sure he gonna be right back, you know, to social media and letting people know he back on the streets, man. Um, Personally, man, just my personal opinion, uh, the dude Big P, I understood everything, man, that he did, man. He rode for his little brother and he felt that the hood didn't ride for his little brother. And like I said, man, when I saw that video, I thought it was pretty clear, you know, what happened and why it happened. And, you know, I'm, I ain't trying to get nobody locked up or put nobody in jail. And that's why, like I said, man, we ain't really talking about the person. I'm really talking about the action, the story. And really, man, why how, why this dude Big P had every right, man, to just go crazy on O Block. And that's really what he did, man. Hey, look, it's your boy, Emmerich Show Grapple, man. Street certified news, man. The most reputable source for urban media, man. Hey, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, man. Rock with your boy, man. Let's keep running it up, man. Road to 50K, man. Hey, love y'all. We out.